Well, the winter weather is officially here, unfortunately, and many people are wondering, how can I save money and how can I save energy? And we have the answers for you today. We're pleased to welcome uh, into our virtual studio today, Nils Hagen Fredrickson, Press Secretary for the Office of Communications for the Public Utility Commission in Harrisburg. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy to be here. It's an important issue to be talking about. It certainly is. We're all feeling the pinch of everything when the winter comes, and this year especially. So what are some important tips that the PUC offers to help people, I guess, to uh, you know, save money on their uh, home heating oil or any other heating bills or on water or just general keeping the heat in their house? What can you tell us to make things better? The, the PUC doesn't touch home heating oil, so that's something that, that consumers would want to talk to their supplier about. But when it comes to electricity, there are a lot of people that still use, you know, that use electricity to generate heat or, in that case, uh, run their furnaces, uh, even if they're using another heating source. So their electric bill is part of their heating bill, or they use natural gas, with the P, which the PUC also regulates as the, the source of energy for the, the, the heat that they use during the winter. Um, when it comes to winter energy, it's really important to understand that your usage drives the biggest portion of your bill. The actual energy you use, the, the kilowatts of electricity or the, the cubic feet of natural gas that you consume on a month-to-month -month basis makes up half to three quarters of your bill. So managing your energy use and understanding your energy use can have a huge impact on those bills, but also the weather and especially the temperatures have a dramatic impact on your bill. So as it gets colder, we see usage go up and we see bills go up and that generates a lot of concern from consumers. Um, Understanding your bill, understanding the rates that you're paying, either for electricity or natural gas, and knowing what your usage is are keys. So simple things you can do around the house, like keep a close eye on your thermostat. Depending on your home and your heating system, a one degree change in your thermostat can swing your bill by up to 3%. So a few degrees up or down can have a dramatic impact on your usage and things like turning down the heat when you're not home or turning down the heat in rooms that you're not using, uh, using curtains and insulating blinds to keep the cold out of the windows, making sure that your furnace, your heating system is well maintained. And if you're using an air circulating system that filters are changed periodically, all of those things can have a dramatic impact on the amount of energy that it takes just for you to stay comfortable. Also think about your high use appliances, mm -hmm. clothes washers, clothes dryers, because you're generating a lot of heat there, and dishwashers tend to be the three biggest heat consuming or energy consuming appliances in your home. So something as simple as waiting until you have a full load before you run any of those appliances can help reduce the amount of energy that you use on a monthly basis. And the other thing to think about if, especially if you're using electricity or natural gas to operate your hot water heater, which can be another high consumption device, is check the thermostat on your hot water heater or have a professional do it. Generally, most people don't need a temperature above 120 degrees on their hot water heater. And if it's running higher than that, you're probably burning off excess energy to generate heat that you don't really need. But also let's not forget that again, the weather can have a dramatic impact. The colder it gets, and especially when we see temperatures drop into the teens or lower in late January and February tends to be one of the coldest months of the year in Pennsylvania. Those utility bills that pop up in February and March tend to be the largest of the year, driven not necessarily by price, but simply by consumption. So that's where efficiency. That's where a little bit of savings here or there, keeping an eye on your thermostat, maintaining your furnace, plugging uh, apps, not letting drafts into your house, doing other simple things to help conserve a little bit of energy can add up to a large number of dollars at the end of the month. 